hey guys this is review destination and i am shitej and today we are going to do the review for this LEDV Lee 1s and this phone has pleased me a lot because for the price range it comes and the specs it offers this phone comes for 10,000 rupees and the specification for this 10,000 rupee phone are really amazing this phone is fully metal of made up of metal and glass so full back is metal like the iPhone and here we for the 10,000 rupee mark you get a fingerprint sensor as well a 30 megapixel shooter camera and here we have the volume rockers and the power on off button and this is fully made up of metal and this quality of, of this phone is also really nice there is no crackling or there is no shaking and bending of this buttons whatsoever and here we have the microphones and the interesting part about this phone is it has a USB-C type lightning port and there are two speaker grills but it's just having a single mono speaker and the speaker is this coming to the front it's a full 1080p display HD and it has a 10 uh, 5 megapixel camera and here the here is the earpiece and the earpiece is also good whenever I have done calls the walls are crystal clear so this one is really a nice one and it has this uh, backlight buttons also and it uh, gives you static feedback it has this vibrating it al always vibrates when you press them many of the samsung phones does not have those which are 20,000 also nearly and for the 10,000 rupees mark I really love this phone and here is the sim ejector tray and this is a proper dual sim phone no hybrid or nothing but yeah sadly speaking this doesn't support a micro SD card so storage is what you get it's a 32 gig model so if you are a power user you have to think before buying this and the fingerprint sensor is just really nice as you can see it's really fast as, you, as soon as I will keep the finger it will unlock see see it's really fast and coming to the camera front facing camera is a bit decent for this price point and the back camera on this phone is not so good I personally don't like it at all it is sort of mediocre or just average the shutter speed is nice and here we can put some effects also there's the pro mode also and here we have ISO shutter speed lots of fancy stuff we can uh, take slow motion also and we can take pan shots also so camera is also okay for this price range but yeah if camera is your priority this phone is not for you if camera is your priority you should go for the la tv lee 2 the camera on that phone is really good especially the front facing camera and this phone uh, is really nice and it also plays lots of heavy games without any issues but yeah lots of heavy games or sometimes the casual games also stuck in between or they get uh, the frames drop down well one such incident was when i was playing the game called driving school i had kept the animation on low also that time also the game was stuck in between and on the high animation it was just haywire the game was not able to play so yeah and some casual gaming yeah this phone handles it really well like the milli militia and uh, highway rider traffic rider all those casual games it uh, plays really well and the battery life on this phone is also good it has a 3000 milliampere battery and it can last you for a 
full working day but yeah if you are really a power user you might have to plug in the phone at 8 hours 8 o'clock in the night or 9 o'clock but yeah it has this fast charging also and with the supplied fast charger it charges really quickly something about in 1 hour 20 minutes 30 minutes so the power charging speed is also really good coming to the in hand display this phone is fully made up of metal and all premium stuff though in unfilled is yeah good but this Sanford edge is a bit sharp so you feel uh, like you have uh, hold a blade in your hand yeah and the speaker is also quite loud and decent in spite of you having a single mono speaker I'll show you this just vibrates and if you keep a finger on this speaker wheel there will be no difference in the sound see no difference completely muted and this can be a con whenever you are playing a game in this uh, position you might accidentally block the speaker or if you are seeing any youtube video or any sort of movies on the phone so on the speaker so this can be a con personally i like the front facing speakers like the uh, most of the htc phones but yeah it is decent for this price point and now i will uh, come to the points of this uh, i'll give some points to this phone in hand feel i will give it a 10 out of 7 and for the camera and the camera i will give it a 7 also for the display yeah the display is really good on this phone so i will give it a 10 out of 9 in displays Ah, sorry guys it's a 9 out of 10 and uh, for the in hand feel nee. and the speaker quality i will give it a 8 out of uh, 10 and for the charging and the battery life i might give it a 8 so yeah i guess this video was helpful to you for judging this phone and if you like this video please put the thumbs up button and please subscribe thanks for watching and this is Shitaj signing off